Hello, Internet. Today is a special day. I would like to introduce you the GPU that started it all. Well, almost. The GPU that started it all looks almost identical. 1070. I owned my own 1070 um, a while back. And uh, that when the GPU crisis prices started happening and um, for whatever reason my uh, my uh, GPU stopped working and I ended up basically hold on a sec I basically ended up fixing my own GPU by simply running a memory test and I had to learn how to replace the memory stick uh, I mean the uh, the memory uh, chips and then here we are about a couple of years later or so, something like that. And I am fixing all sorts of stuff. So let's take this thing apart real quick and see what's going on. Um, the guy said that the fan spins very fast, <clears throat> but there's no image. So we're not gonna try that. We are not going to do any kind of diagnostics until we take this thing completely apart. Let's see, this has been a long time since I've taken a card apart like this. Brings back all sorts of memories. I actually, I actually killed a few of them too. You know, that's how you learn. You get a bunch of you get a bunch of GPUs and just start messing around. Kill about half of them, fix half of them, and before you know it, you become a GPU repair expert. <laughs> That's how it worked for me anyway. I, I was uh, having a luxury being able to buy um, a few of them at a time. Um, stumbled upon a miner. He had like 16 of them or something, or eight, I don't know, eight or 16. So he sold them all at once, for, you know, for maybe a couple of hundred bucks, maybe three, maybe 400 bucks. I don't remember. The price was really good. I think I bought them for like $60 each or something. 60 to $80 each, two years ago, for 1070. That was a steal. Uh, and so I was able to fix most of them, uh, and then I killed some of them, which was fun. So, today we're not going to be killing any GPUs. Today we're going to be fixing them. Uh, if we can, however, because I don't know. I don't know if we can fix this one or not. Only time will tell. And you guys already know how to do this. We are... Testing for resistances. Okay. Mainly, I'm concerned about the short circuits. 12 volt. No shorts on 12 on the PCI slot. What about 12 volt up in here? No short there. Um, I think this is 5 volt. Uh -huh, that's our problem right there. What about a memory? Short on memory, okay. Very bad. Uh, no, actually, the 5 volt is here. Correction. 5 volt is here. So 13K on here. It has been a while, I don't remember. What about here? PEX, okay, so PEX is short. Memory is short. And this is 1.8. Uh, so. <laughs> Okay, I think we have a dead card here. <sighs> Boy. Let's do a, a very quick, simple, and easy diagnostic that anybody can do. I'm going to turn on the exhaust. And um, we'll bring in the fan. And we're going to start lifting these coils. Because there's nothing else at this point that I need to do. I think we have a dead core. Um, but I don't, I don't want to be that guy um, who is 99% right 
and then one percent wrong, I want to be one hundred percent right. Because because the reputation, my name is on there. It took me a while to get where I'm at, and um, I I value my reputation. So I'm not just gonna say dead core. I'm gonna prove it to myself that it is indeed that core. And what better way to do it than to lift the coil and inject the voltage. And then we'll see exactly what's going on. Some of you repair experts are probably gonna be like, dude, you're wasting your time. I couldn't agree more. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night thinking, oh my God, what if, what if there's a capacitor somewhere that's shorted? I don't want to do that. That one little what if is the reason why people trust me. Or, or I hope so. <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? Okay. Uh, I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. Wipe that stuff off. And that's all I did. I just lifted one end of the coil for the PEX, for the memory, and for the 1.8. So that way... I know um, if the short is on this side, like, let's say for the packs, if the short is on this side, it's a dead core. However, there could be a short capacitor. <laughs> you know, it's what th there is. There are capacitors along the way to the core, and so. But, but we're going to test that, you know. I'm pretty sure it's a dead core, but I'm like that, you know. I'm, I'm not going to. Even based on my experience, I'm not going to assume. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we have a beep. Yep, we have a dead short on PEX. It's still a little warm, but I'm sure it's dead short on memory. Dead short on 1.8. And dead short on memory. Okay. So, but if you measure it on the other side, see right there. Nothing. The other end, nothing. Oh, actually, let me see. Yeah, like 20 kilo ohms on PEX without a coil 4k in memory what about 1.8 60k and 1.8 okay who cares so uh, what I'll do now is I will inject some voltage into um, I'm going to inject one volt into each of these rails. So let's see if I can. And then we're going to look at a thermal camera and see what starts glowing. Mm, if I find the camera. Yeah, hold on a sec. I need to go get my phone. I'll be right back. All right, thermal camera is here. Lights out. Let's see if we can focus on here can we focus on anything if we ever could okay so let's uh, put 1.8 let's en energize 1.8 what do we get
I don't see nothing. Okay, let's energize the memory. I don't see nothing. And let's energize the packs. I see nothing. We're drawing one and a half amp and I see absolutely nothing. Okay. What do we do now? Since the thermal camera doesn't show us anything. Next, for the sake of entertainment, I'll remove the core. And the very last thing to do, as you may have already guessed, is to lift the core. And once we lift the core, short circuits theoretically should go away, giving us a 1000% accurate diagnostic, because sometimes 100% just isn't enough. Sometimes we want to go 1000%. So let's get this thing diagnosed with a thousand percent accuracy. That'll take just a second. The core is out. There we go. Alright, I'm going to uh, clean this place up real quick, just a little bit, not entirely see if we have a short on the chip so the ground is uh, this little pad there and then we just measure the caps on the top yep zero ohms and then the PEX is somewhere here I don't remember where PEX is. Probably here. Yeah. Short. So this core is obviously toast. The uh, the board is now cooled down. So let's see what the board says. And the board says. Whoop! Oh man, I keep breaking these tips. Anyway. We got 20, almost 16, 15K on the PEX without the core. We got 200, almost 400 ohms on the memory, which is exactly what I expected. And for 1.8, 900 ohms. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So now all the readings are great. Um, I, even be I believe that even the memory survived. Uh, I can't really tell uh, because the resistance is good, but I can't tell until uh, till we get a uh, a core that's working. And unfortunately, I don't have one. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something today. And if so, please hit me with the like button. Maybe post a comment. And uh, if any of you need a repair, you know where to find me. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.